you use this one email marketing reporting metric, you're probably gonna lose a lot of money this year. You're gonna wanna send this video over to your CEO. Having sent over 1 billion emails over the last two years and generated over $300 million in revenue, for the e-commerce brands I work with, I've seen this specific error being done all the time. And it's causing e-commerce brands to not know the true value of their list. As a comment, I hope e-commerce brands just like yours unlock the true revenue potential from every subscriber on your list. Check out these numbers. This brand saw a huge revenue jump in the month of May when you compare period over period, 53% up in email revenue. Those numbers are fake. Generally, you never wanna report period over period for your email marketing results, but rather you should be comparing year over year. Go here, toggle this down to previous year, and then find the real results. And here we go, down 54% and down 42% in email revenue. That's how marketing bros fake you out. Here's the difference between period over period and year over year. If I was to come into your e-commerce brand in November and show you the result I drove for your brand versus October, of course November would win. It's Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Pairing a month where you have a big sale, promotion, or new arrival versus a month before that you didn't have that would be simply flawed and fake. There's simply no comparison. If your brand shows huge growth year over year with the same sales and promotions, that's an apples to apples comparison and you can actually show incrementality and that your channel is actually growing. Don't get fooled by period over period reporting. Focus on year over year growth. So if somebody on your team is reporting period over period growth, better question them on their metrics. Your brand's revenue and profits deserve it. Follow me for more tips.